Hey guys, what's up? Will. Um, I'm going to show you this. Um, event Skeptic asked me to look at this video and uh, see if I can evaluate it. Now, uh, what we're looking for is are the clouds going behind the moon here? Um, I think that's the moon at that point. Okay, this is the moon here at this point. And it's, uh, are the suns going behind the cloud? Are the clouds going behind the sun at this point? Uh, and so, you know, the the moon the moon pictures are a lot harder to debunk just because of the uh, the lighting of it and such like this. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my results. Um, again, thank you, Event Skeptic, for this suggestion. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, this is one of uh, there we go. This is one of these images with the sun, and it seems like there are clouds behind it and in front of it. So, what can we find out from this? What we find out is when we look at the contrast, it seems as if these clouds are in front and those are behind. Um, and the reason we can say this is, and we can look at high contrast images, and we never we never get any hint of any overblow or any blow through or anything like that, any kind of weird pixelation up in here. Um, it's just uh, it's just kind of as you see. Okay, so I, I really disagree here. I mean, I don't disagree. I really think this is reason to evaluate these uh, images and photos even more. So we're done with that one. Let's look at the next one. Um, this was one we're just looking at brightness and contrast here of course. Um, this is just the typical moon picture and yeah you could think that the That the clouds are behind the moon at this point. Um, uh, of course, when we blow it out, we don't see any indication of anything in front of the moon. But I suspect that's just because it's so bright in relation to the reflected light that we're not going to really see that effect that we were looking for. Um, same, this is a moon picture. Okay, same kind of thing. So we're just looking for clouds. Um, if there's any kind of ab abnormalities, you know, anything like that. Um, I don't really see anything. This is just one of those images where uh, it's actually a pretty darn good moon image, isn't it? But uh, it's just one of those times when her camera focused on the moon versus the clouds in the foreground. <clears throat> Non-conclusive there. Okay, we'll go ahead and save that one. Um, here's this one. Uh, this is a pretty good picture. It does have these two contrails in the back. Um, it does have this large black cloud here and then a um, light wispy, two, two light wispy clouds. Now one thing to look for, these are nice and light here and nice and nice and light area sections here. Those become very prominent. Once we look, you can see these definitely, these lighter areas definitely become prominent, okay? So what's that saying? Even the light areas that are in front of the sun, we end up seeing when we play with the contrast. So that's a bit, uh, I mean, I, I, there's absolutely, okay, you see how these go over? 
over, over. It's as if these actually do disappear behind. Uh, you can see there's that difference there. Um, very different than this. There, there's no overlap, nothing. I mean, it could come from the distance of the clouds, but that doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Um, same picture. It's just uh, we're looking at kind of the same thing. Just looking at this kind of blown out picture. And again, we see we have this cloud here that just kind of completely disappears behind. Okay. Um, this cloud that's here seems to, you see how it's disappearing behind it exactly. Well, this part of the cloud is just gone. This part of the cloud is here, and these appear to be kind of the same wispiness. I don't know if you call it that. The same volume, same opacity. Um, just, you know, once you once you even blow it out here, you see this defined where red turns into the yellow because it goes you know, seemingly behind the sun or something. Um, yeah, it's a very, very prominent line here where if it was going in front, I don't believe that line would be as prominent because the sun would be shining through and it would seem uh, wispy like this. So, um, yeah, these definitely the top and the bottom here are very suspect. Now, I've already showed you one before, but uh, this one with the contrails. To me, this is the definitive one, okay? So what we're looking at here, so you can very easily see it just right there. What we're looking at is even the lightest. You see how it doesn't just disappear because it's going over the sun. It just kind of goes over it. Same with the red here, you know, a little bit of a change and then goes over it here losing it before it gets to it, losing it before it gets to it. I mean, well, let's bring this down. Let's see what we're looking at. We're going to bring the contrast up. Now about right there. This is about where I can see that those contrails, we, we don't see any. Now, notice here, you don't see anything here. You don't really see yellow, but when we raise the contrast, lower out the brightness, we're lowering out the brightness of the sun, we can see this definitive less areas. And I'm assuming that we would see a little bit of this contrail or a little bit of this dark, dark, dark cloud over here. We don't see any of that. Even as we brighten this up, we don't see any of that. What we see is we see a more pronounced edge where it seems to go behind it. So, very interesting. Again, uh, everybody, thanks to Event Skeptic for this one. Uh, here's his, uh, the title, and I'll have the link in the description. Appreciate it. Judge for yourself. Take care, guys.